Welcome back to Frozen Education. This is that today I'm going to be talking about AVGR. So this is an update from my last video. Please make sure to watch the other one after this one here. Drop a like to this channel to help this channel grow. Subscribe and leave your notifications on. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. I'm going to go through technical analysis. I do have some news on this one here that I think is interesting. And I'm going to go through how I play the stock. Now the, there was offering news today, uh, sorry on Friday, that did dip the price down uh, quite a lot, above 20% down. And so you get to see that MACD has gone through a reversal, although it looked like it was on the way for uh, for a reversal on the 20th of August. Uh, it seems that this kind of offering did push it through. This here is a bearish kicker, um, <clears throat> and you get to see that it was already on the way, going in a little bit down. The stock price it fell below the 10 SM, uh, 10 SMA and the 30 MA and below the trading action zone here. Uh, stock price is still above the 50 SMA, which is bullish, but under the 200 SMA, which is bearish. Willing percent art puts it as oversold and ADX is at 37.57. ADX doesn't mean anything. Momentum seems to have been lost here. But uh, offerings usually do uh, damage in um, terms of momentums and other technical analysis. So that's fine. ADX here uh, shows in almost 42 which uh, signals in a strong indication for a downtrend movement being strong. All moving averages here do look bearish except the VWAP. The price is above the VWAP here. Uh, just a little above there. Um, the VWAP is sitting at 0.48. It's sitting in 0.834. MACD does show a little bit of recovery happening in for Monday. And the William Percent R is looking to be a bit more overbought. Now, whether we see a little bit of a correction there, uh, that's a question uh, based on the next movements on Monday. Momentum seems to have been recovering uh, ever since the drop from uh, the offering. So now moving on towards the moving averages, you get to see the moving average for the stock is sitting between 0.49 and the middle is 0.54 with the top sitting at 0.6. Now in terms of supports and resistances here, we're going to do something quick right on here. You get to see a current support or Fibonacci retracement of 0.47 and a current resistance of 0.53 on there, 0.57 after that. So in terms of major supports that we're considering in perhaps a breakthrough areas, we're talking about uh, the current range between 0.47 and 0.49. Uh, that is an interesting area there in terms of, of support. 0.45 seems to be a uh, historic strong support and 0.43 under that. Now going on towards where resistances are, uh, really interesting one to break would be the 0.50. After that would be the 0.52. And after it breaks the 0.53 to uh, the 0.56 mark, it has a lot of room to grow there. In terms of current trends, let's take a quick look in the last three months. And I'm going to go through the trend lines here. And you get to see that the offerings only has, uh, is the one that actually broke that trend. And so the current trend is sitting in uh, currently at a fixed position around here. Now, towards latest news in terms of the companies and whatnot. So we got institutional values here. Uh, no recent transactions other than, for instance, um, on the 14th, so, so this week. A lot of institutions didn't touch it or change their positions, so nothing significant plays on here. It's a little bit mixed adding and on, but it seems to be uh, a lot more adding than dumping in terms of stocks. Sabi has increased their shares though, and usually I don't like to swim uh, in Sabi's waters. Uh, now, in terms of different news, other, of course the offering by the way is 0.47, so the stock price is already above there. Uh, there was a delisting notice here, and it's still in effect. They do have until november 20th previously they had till september 8th to regain compliance but uh now they have until november 20th so how would i play the stock and uh what is the upcoming catalyst so the upcoming catalyst is the 510k approvals it is expected in august um although there is also a lot of things different things happening so they do need to regain compliance uh, they need the stock to be above a dollar and you get to see, even with that anticipation and whatnot, I do ex do anticipate that with the 510k news, probably the price would drop up to a dollar, a dollar fifty. That is an expected movement. But when we see, it, when we look back at a lot of different companies, uh, a lot of that happens in terms of like a spike and then kind of drops down quickly. Now the FDA has been on point in terms of giving like FDA approvals uh, and meeting deadlines, although the 510ks. Um, there's no guarantee we're going to hear something about it in August. I do remember a couple other companies that they did have a little bit of delays. So in case that delay does come and let's say somewhere around, well, they have until November, uh, 
is the reverse split still an option yes it is so it is an option they do need to maintain their compliance so that is a risk that you need to understand so you got your catalyst of the 510k which is an amazing thing offering closing but a risk of a reverse split and that's basically all you need in terms of making a decision now if i bought this stock somewhere around this region here i would consider selling sometime on monday or as soon as the offering closes now if i bought somewhere around here i would consider perhaps averaging down and then selling on monday or, or sorry selling then the monday or tuesday or perhaps if you believe in the stock in terms of getting to 510k soon you really do believe that there is pr soon because here's the thing with penny stocks nowadays if there's no catalyst that is coming in right away people tend to sell to chase some other stock <laughs> so we do know the catalyst but if it does have we have a week until the end of august if it doesn't come through august you expect the price to drop in september what do you think about the sticker make sure you mention down in the comments below share subscribe and like you have a wonderful day